Today we are doing a fruit tier list because apparently only one in 10 people in the Western world consume enough fruits and vegetables on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, and if you're wondering why I have so much blush on, uh, I don't. I'm like sick or something and my cheeks are just like super hot and red. And um, I've already tried to film this video like eight times. So this is the one we're going with. The one where I look like a weird marionette doll or something. <laughs> Oh, it is what it is. Let, let's begin the fruit tier list. Welcome to me trying to use my camera for the first time and it didn't really work out, so he, here it is. <laughs> Starting with bananas. Are they healthy? In 100 grams of banana, you're getting almost 30% of your total daily value for B6, 15% manganese, some copper, vitamin C, B2, and folate. But most of these nutrients aren't difficult to get. However, bananas do have a significant chunk of both potassium and magnesium. Potassium and magnesium play critical roles in many cellular functions and were actually recently listed as shortfall nutrients by the USDA. A shortfall nutrient is one that is chronically consumed in numbers below adequate intake levels by a large portion of the population. Potassium was even labeled as a nutrient of public health concern by this guide, as was magnesium by another study. Quote, the evidence in the literature suggests that subclinical magnesium deficiency is rampant and one of the leading causes of chronic diseases in cardiovascular disease and early mortality around the globe and should be considered a public health crisis. So that's got to be a point for bananas for sure. <laughs> you know, they have, they have those good things about them, but I'm, I'm going to give them a B. Next up, fruit juice. Yes, according to the USDA, juice is just lumped on in there with regular old fruit. Except calling juice fruit is like calling potato chips vegetables. Oh, wait. So I'm going to go ahead and give fruit juice uh, an F. Because although we're not really taking sugar into consideration in this list, which obviously is like a debate in itself. Even if it's not from concentrate, it's not a consolation prize for real fruit. And I think in this instance, the sugar and the calories do matter because it's basically just like a liquefied, it's just like a sugar shot at that point, right to your veins. So I'm anti-fruit juice. Blueberries. Yeah, that was a lot cooler in my mind than it was on the screen. And why did I choose a black background for blueberries? <laughs> Bear with me here. Blueberries are consistently ranked as some of the healthiest fruits in the world. So you may be surprised to see their nutrient content. When we pull them up and look at their daily values though, they're actually not that special. I mean, if you look at them next to a banana, they're actually a little bit worse. But the vitamins and minerals present in blueberries are really just a bonus because they're rich in other phenolic compounds that make them particularly potent antioxidants, such as anthocyanins. Presumably thanks to these antioxidants, many studies have found that blood markers of DNA damage, inflammation, and oxidative stress were reduced in as little as eight weeks of blueberry supplementation. Why is this important? Oxidative stress and inflammation are thought to play a role in aging and the development of a range of diseases and health conditions. So foods high in antioxidants like blueberries and other fruits and vegetables protect your cells from damage and lower your risk of disease. Overall, blueberries are one of the most well-studied fruits on this list, and they've been linked to a range of health benefits, uh, most notably better cognitive function and a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease. So blueberries, blueberries get an S tier from me. They are super healthy with a lot of data to back it up. And I'll put some studies in the sidebar if anyone's interested in looking at them further. Like I said, I'm trying to like keep it casual. So I'm not going to like talk for five hours on how healthy blueberries are. They're S tier. Okay. That's enough. This video is sponsored by Magic Spoon. Growing up, my parents never bought the fun cereal and I hated it so much and I didn't understand why we always had to have like shreddies and all brand when the other kids got to have the cool cereal. But as an adult, it's pretty easy to see why being that cereal is pretty much just straight sugar. Like look at this, it's literally candy. Cotton candy crunch, sour worms. Is this real? That's not real. There's no way. Jolly Rancher. This is real. I've seen that one. Oreo O's drumstick cereal. Like what? Okay, I saw a really wild one before. What was it? Sour Patch Kids, come on. So when Magic Spoon reached out to me and I reviewed their cereal, 
zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, and only four net carbs per serving. They have all these nostalgic, fun flavors and cute packaging, fruity, cocoa, frosted, and now peanut butter. You can try them all in a variety pack. I was like, that is so cool. I'm so stoked for you guys to send me this cereal. <laughs> So I was really hoping that the fruity one would be my favorite because it goes best with the video, obviously. That was kind of the plan here, <laughs> but it wasn't. I liked the chocolate one better. I just did. It's just a classic flavor. It's just, I always have a chocolate craving. That's the one I like the best. Okay. I feel really awkward eating this on camera, but it is, it is good. Am I supposed to make eye contact? Like. A <laughs> It's good. It also doesn't have like a proteiny taste at all. It really just tastes like normal cereal, but not the healthy kind, not like shreddies. <laughs> I also love how it makes the milk all chocolatey. That's such a good part of cereal, how it makes the milk all thing. You don't get that very, very much when you don't eat cereal, so it's pretty fun. Okay, so if we do like a mini tier list, I would say, honestly, all the flavors are really good, but I'm gonna go ahead and say chocolate gets an S tier for me. The frosted flavor, I actually really like that one as well. So that one, that one definitely gets a good one from me. I don't know. I want at least an A, maybe an S. I really like the fruit, that one. I can't really explain what the flavor tastes like. Obviously it just tastes sweet, but I don't know, it's quite good. And the fruity, like I said, I hoped that the fruity was gonna be my favorite because it went best with the video, but it tastes, in my opinion, pretty much just like exactly like Fruit Loops, a little bit less sweet, but in a good way. But if you like Fruit Loops, you will love the fruity one. For me, I'm still gonna give it a B just because that's not my favorite flavor of cereal. But if you like Fruit Loops, that'll probably be your jam. It's also keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, low carb, and GMO free. Go to magicspoon.com slash Kiana to grab a variety pack and try it today. And be sure to use the promo code Kiana at checkout to get $5 off your order. And again, thanks to Magic Spoon for sponsoring this video. Next up, oranges. Oh. There we go. A 100 gram serving is high in vitamin C and not much else when it comes to vitamins and minerals. Now, vitamin C is really important and we need to top it up all the time because it's water soluble, meaning we pee out the excess every day and we can't actually store it in our bodies. It's also fragile, so some of it breaks down if you cook it. So if you cook most of your food and you don't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables to begin with, then okay, maybe you might be lacking in vitamin C, but it's present in so many fruits and vegetables and in ample quantities that in my opinion anyway, it's the easiest micronutrient to get like by far. So yeah, an orange having 70% vitamin C, I just, for me, oranges just don't really have as much bang for your buck as some of the other fruits on this list. So I'm gonna give oranges a, it is portable, I mean, in terms of its thick shell. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm, I'm gonna give oranges a C. I'd rather eat, I'd rather eat some of the other fruits on this list, I think. How many times have you heard that watermelon is just sugar and water? Well, turns out watermelon actually crushes it. Now, I don't know anyone who eats 100 grams of watermelon, so in a 250 gram serving, you're looking at 60% of your daily vitamin A, 27% vitamin C, 11% copper, 8% magnesium, 10% potassium, some B5, and some B1. So not bad at all. Nice range of nutrients there with some pretty good numbers. Not to mention, this is one of the lowest calorie fruits on this list. A 250 gram serving is only 75 calories. And watermelon has lycopene. Lycopene is a carotenoid that gives watermelon its color and has been linked over and over again to a reduced likelihood of a bunch of different diseases and even cancers. Now, it's not known exactly how or why or how much lycopene can even be absorbed from watermelon, but I decided to mention it because I think it points out something interesting about fruits and whole foods in general. And that's that the vitamins and minerals, the RDA, the stuff that we're looking to, that's really a fraction of what makes eating these types of foods so important for us. And you know, even the worst fruits on this list, they often have something that we're not measuring that's been shown to improve health outcomes. We don't know exactly how or why or what it is, but just that eating these foods is improving people's 
health in a measurable way. Which is really why I made this video, just to kind of point out that kind of stuff. The tier list is like the guys to tell you that. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, I feel like watermelon should have been an A tier, but dude, it is so inconvenient. And the likelihood that you get a stinky one is like so high, <laughs> at least where I live. No matter how many watermelons I knock on, the likelihood of me getting one that's like spongy and gross is, is it's pretty good. It's like 50-50. So for me, I'm gonna give them a B. I'm gonna give them a B because it's, they're a nightmare to open, they're heavy, they're just, there's so much to them that makes watermelon not exactly, you know, the best for me. This is a subjective list, okay. Finally, we reach the almighty kiwi. Just 100 gram of kiwi is 123% of your vitamin C goal. 44% of vitamin K, 14% copper, 12% potassium, and 8% vitamin E. And a little chunk of magnesium there too. And if you eat the skin, you'll increase the fiber, vitamin E, and folate contents by 50, 32, and 34%. And these guys are like a 10 out of 10 on portability because unlike most other fruits on this list, you can eat all of the skin. I was gonna give them a nine out of 10 because of that little, that little nub which I don't enjoy eating, but you can eat the nub in a pinch and you can't really eat like a banana or an orange peel. So I'm giving that a 10 all around. So I mean, for me, based on the vitamins and minerals alone, Kiwi gets an S tier. They're killing it. All right, next up, strawberries. The second lowest calorie fruit on this list and a very great source of vitamin C. Strawberries are known to have some of the very same compounds as blueberries, common, common berry thing. Though they're actually, I think in a lot of tests, they show to be a little bit less, I don't know, health promote than blueberries. Like blueberries seem to win, but literally please take that as a grain of salt because I, I don't have a study to reference for that. <laughs> I'm just saying, that's what I saw. So we'll give them an A. More like a B minus though, because like realistically, they only taste good for like two months of the year. They're one of them, I would say, maybe just as a Canadian, we have worse access to the good strawberries of the year. They taste like water. So. Next up, apples. Apples are trash, honestly. Let's look at the apples. They are just not that great when it comes to vitamins and minerals comparatively. In a 100 gram serving, you're only getting 6% of vitamin C, 2% of vitamin A, and 4% of potassium. And it's actually pretty hard to find a 100 gram apple. Average serving size is anywhere from 150 to 250 grams. So if you make just not as much bang for your buck as some of the other fruits on this list, in my opinion. <laughs> Most redeeming quality of the apple is its fiber content, which is quite good, but still beaten out by the kiwi. And it does score high on portability, but unlike the orange, it can get really banged up. So I don't know, apples, it's crazy because I feel like apple is like the quintessential fruit, but it's just, it's just not that great. It's just not that great. And I, I don't know. I was looking it up on PubMed. I was still, I wasn't that impressed. For me, I'm gonna give the apple a D. I gotta do it. Now, no fruits are bad fruits, but apples, they're just not that great. They're just not that great. But I wanna say that of all the fruits on this list, even the D, even the apple, even the orange, they have a lot of things that are not being measured. Rhonda Patrick calls this the unknowables, which are essentially the benefits to eating whole fruits and vegetables that we currently do not have the capacity to study, but that are probably contributing to the positive effects that we're seeing in the research. That's why when you just take a supplement, when you take a vitamin C pill or whatever, often it's not shown to be as effective. Sometimes it is, but particularly with antioxidants and that kind of thing, it's not as effective as the whole food. So it's really, really important to eat as many whole foods as you can because there's so many things that we don't know about them that are clearly contributing to our health. So yeah, that was really the point of this video, not to bash all the fruits, not to go deep into all the research on the fruits, but really just to suggest that eating fruits and vegetables is a super easy way to be healthier. There are so many articles showing this and specifically about fruits too. I know people like to slam fruits and say, oh yeah, they're sugary or whatever, but the data suggests that they're very healthy. In reality, all fruits belong on at least A tier, at least A, okay? So for, forget my list, except that, <laughs> except the fruit juice, that does not belong on A tier. Just get that 
delete it. I don't know why that was ever included to begin with. All fruits are A tier. All fruits are good for you. Eat fruits. Um, I don't know how to end this video. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video and putting up with my weird red face. This video, if it wasn't your favorite, well, it wasn't mine either, okay? So this video from start to finish has been just, I don't know. So if you didn't love it, then I understand because honestly, I don't love it either. <laughs> yeah, um, hope it was somewhat enjoyable for you guys. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. <laughs>